Okay, good day. Let's have the difference of A and B under operation of set. So, let's have difference, difference of A and B. Or, it is also called relative complement. Relative complement. So it is denoted by this. So that is the difference of A and B and X such that X is an element of A and X is not an element of B. So this is, is the set of all elements set of all elements x in our universal set such that x is in A and x is not in B. So that is difference of A and B. Let's have an example to understand it better. So we have the universal set. Let's define the universal set first. So you have A, B, C, D, E. So, so if our A is A, D, E. And let's have also B, set B. Our set B is B, C, D, E. Now what is A? A minus B. Okay. The difference of A and B. So, it only means that it should be an element of A, but not an element, I'm sorry, but not an element of B. So, such that X is in A, but not in B. So, in this case, we're going to subtract or we're going to cancel all elements in our A that is in B. So, example, you have E here. So, we will cancel E here. So, what is left is, we also have D. So, the answer is A. So, that is difference of A and B. You're going to include those elements that are in A but not in B. So, let's have another one. What if you're going to? Interchange is the answer the same. Now, since it's interchange, our B now is, is the subject and A is we're going to subtract all elements in B that are in A. So, B minus A. So, the answer here is, okay, correct, B, C. Because D and E is in A. So, we're going to cancel D and E. And what is left when you B minus A, what is left is BC. Okay, so there is really a difference between A minus B or the difference of A minus B and the difference between B and A or B minus A. Okay, so let's have a Venn diagram to illustrate it more. So if I have here the universal set, and let's have this, our A, and this is our B. So, if you are looking for the difference, you're only gonna shade it here. So, we are, go we are not going to include the intersection as well everything about B. So, that's it. Okay, let's have... Let's try to have the Venn diagram of our given example. Let's do it bigger. And another. So, this is our universal set. So, we have here our A. So, kanya ito tangdanan. A and we have our B 
there. And we're going to write all the... No, so you have A is B, D, E. So you have here B, D, E. So D, E is at the intersection. You have A and your B, this is the elements. So you have B, C. Okay. Now, if it's if it's difference, we are going to shade only this one. Okay. So we are not going to include DE because it's in B. So this is the reason why. So X should be an element of A. And X should not be an element of B. So what is the difference of a and B, the answer is only A. Okay, so that's the answer. So this is the Venn diagram. Now, as you can see, um, what do you call this symbol again? Okay, very good. That's and. So, I'm gonna rewrite it again here. Element of A and X is not an element of B. So, we're gonna test it. You have our first proposition and our second proposition and the combination using the symbol N. So, we are going to test all the elements in the universal set. So, the, you have A, B, C, D, E. So, this is the set of the universal set. Okay. Under A, the elements is A, D, E. So, A is true. D is also true. E is also true. A, D, E is an element of set A. So, this is false. Now, for B, you have B, C, D, E. B, C, D, E is an element of B. So, this is B, C, D, E false. Not a false man. Because it is an element of B and the proposition is not an element of B. Since A is not an element, well, I A, not an element of B. So, this is true. Not an element of B. Now, using this and if it is only true if all proposition or both proposition is true. So we will have true, false, 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 false. So A minus B is only A. So the answer is A. So this is the explanation in connection to our symbol and. Okay. Um Let's have an example to further understand it. So, our first example, let's have, I mean, second example. So, if our universal set, let's have another color, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If A is, 2, 4, 6, B is, you have 4, 6, 8, 9. C is in all set. What is A or the difference of A and B? So we are going to cancel all elements in A that are in B. So, mawala si 4, 6. We're going to cancel that one. What is left is Two, correct. Now, what is B minus A or the difference of B and A? We're going to cancel all elements in B that are in A. So, 4 and 6 are canceled. What is left is 8 and 9. Correct. Now, how about A minus C? So, we're going to cancel all elements in A that are in C, but... C is an empty or a null set, meaning there's no elements inside. So our answer here is 2, 4, 6. Okay, this is our second example. I hope it's clear. Now let's have our third example. Okay, let's have our third example. 
Um, example, our third example is this one. If our universal set is, is a, um, let me think, a whole number maybe. Mm. And our A is X such that X is a positive natural number. And B is X such that X is a or is an even number. Okay. Now, what is A or the difference of A and B? So, first, we still remember a whole number. This whole number starts with zero. Very good. And then, how about positive natural number? It's one, two, three, four, and so on. An even number. Are we going to start with two or zero? Good, zero. Because zero is an even number. Okay. Okay, so we have already listed it and transformed it from a rule method or set builder notation to a rooster method. Now, A minus B or difference of A and B. So, we're going to cancel all elements in A that are in B. So, what is left? I mean, you're going to cancel 0, 2, 4, 6, and so on. So, what is left is 1, 3, 5. Okay, very good. So, this is x such that x is a positive odd number. So, what is left is a odd number. Now, it is important to put positive because if you don't put it positive, maybe negative will be included. So, this, since this is all, this, um, all elements here are positive, so you need to be specific. So, Positive odd number. Now, let's have B minus A. So, what is the difference of B and A? So, we are going to cancel all elements in B that are in A. So, cancel 2. You have also, okay, 4, 6, 8. All will be canceled except, very good, 0. So, what is left is 0. Okay, so that's it. Our third example under this operation, difference, or it is also called relative complement. So again, this is your third example, your second example, um, a sort of elaboration of the definition in terms of this symbol. You have the Venn diagram and the explanation or this first example and the definition okay so let's have uh, let's have our next operation that is symmetric difference